Hello and welcome back to Kitten Up Kitten. My name is Sam. I hope you are all having a fabulous day. I am here today to do a whip and ramble on my all I Miss You canvas, sorry, um, from Diamond Art Club by Mandy Manzano. Um, but I'm going to go through what I've got on my table at the moment first. So today I will be using my cream or white, I think it's classed as white, but anyway, my Admiral Zest tray. Um, I'm also still using my Amazon pen. Um, I love this pen, it's just so chunky, it's great. Um, I am also using one of my trash drill cook pots. Um, so if you didn't know, this was um, these were made from a bunch of drills that somebody sent me to use. So um, it's just a cover minder come trash drill pot because I like to keep mine where I can see them. Um, I also have a couple of new cover minders. I have this beautiful alcohol ink cabochon um i make these for necklaces for jewelry predominantly but i do like you can see through it it's it's kind of pretty um so i decided to keep this one as a cover minder um i don't use cover minders to hold the plastic back most of the time they're purely there because they stop my pen rolling away and because they look pretty i also have my initial um i actually have an alphabet mold um so i will be doing these as cover minders on my etsy shop um and this um i had somebody mention that um they wanted to see what other things i do this has literally come out of the mold this morning um i have a home one and i have a love one and the beauty with all of the resin products is that especially with glitters they're limited edition because i only have basically i mix my glitters from glitters already had so i have some chunky glitters fine glitters etc that i've used for my nails um for, for you know nail art um and what i do is i literally pick a fine and a chunky sometimes i mix two colors together once i've used that glitter it's gone I can't make it again. So this is what makes um, having minders, um, uh, resin products, cook pots, that's what makes these unique. They are one-offs. They are limited edition. Everything I make, you will never find another one of. So that's what I do. So this one is still movable a bit. It hasn't fully set. So I'm going to put it up on my windowsill to leave it to set properly um so that will be going upon the etsy shop so other than that i also have obviously my storage for i miss you and today i just want to bring you up to date on things that are happening things i'm waiting for things that are coming up but i do want to go back to questions because um, i have got quite a few comments to answer so let's get this bit out of the way first. I'm literally going to tidy up my cover papers and make sure I've got a nice level straight line because you know I'm weird. I need to say that when my very first diamond painting, um, I actually did free range it. I didn't know about cover papers and sectioning and stuff. And um, the problem I had was I found it very hard to stop. I can't pick that up because I've got my nails are stupidly short at the minute. Um, yeah, um, the problem is, is if I if I free range and just pull the clear plastic back, I don't like the clear plastic. It makes me sweaty. So that's the first thing. Secondly, um, the reason I started sectioning when I found out that there was such a thing as cover papers is because... I would start doing a section and I'd have like three drills left in my tray and I would look at the next bit and think, oh, I'll just pick the plastic up and do that bit. And it just, I can't cope with the unorganisedness of it. So I actually do prefer to use cover papers. Um, I don't cover my whole canvas in papers mainly because very often I roll these and take them to work with me and I will do a video on how to take a 
how to transport a canvas um, so I will do a video on that but um, I like my sections this sort of size I know will generally take me about an hour um, and usually if I'm just diamond painting for videos it's a good length I think because most people like that sort of length if they're watching um, and for most videos that's quite a good length and for me it's a good size to diamond um, paint so i hope you are all very well if you are in the uk i hope you're enjoying this little heat wave we're having um today it is very very warm but it is also quite overcast so it's going to be muggy um i think it's meant to reach 30 today but um i am off work um, I've got some videos to do obviously I want to spend some time diamond painting outside today because I want to chill out and relax um, I have some videos today but I don't want to do too many in one go and I'm also waiting for products to arrive to do unboxings um, <coughs> so I have three days off which will be the last time that I've got three days off in a row for about seven weeks um, just because of holiday cover at work, uh, nails, etc. Um, so it's going to be a busy few weeks. Um, yesterday I did a resin pour because um, I've had quite a few sales on Etsy. Um, so I did a resin pour to get those ready and today I am attaching magnets to cover minders etc. So that I can then do a post out tomorrow that is the plan so it is tuesday what are you guys working on i'd like to know what's your current whip how's it going are you whipping outside are you whipping indoors what's the le weather like where you are is that enough questions do you think answer them all it's fine so um, to bring you up to date on what's happening, I am currently awaiting delivering deliveries of the following items. Um, I have ordered another set of storage from um, AliExpress, the uh, Elizabeth Ward knockoff set. Um, I ordered another set, but it is possible that won't be here until the 1st of August. So we've got a while to wait. Um, I am awaiting a delivery of six diamond paintings from Fan Cells. I'm also awaiting delivery of four from um, FG Normal. Um, it was recommended as a site to buy budget diamond paintings, so I checked the site out. Um, I picked some different types and... Um, I'm looking forward to seeing what they are like. I, of course, because it's important to me, I did try and pick canvases that I knew weren't stolen images because I'm not about buying a Randall Spangler from China. You know, it's not the same. So um, I, I did use. I also have a couple that are not my normal thing. That's all I'm going to say because I wanted to bring something a bit different to the channel. I'm not a big off the canvas fan, I need to say that, so you're not gonna be seeing tissue boxes or anything like that, because I wouldn't do anything with them. But um, I have ordered some different type of canvases. I am, of course, gonna be keeping an eye on my phone and making sure that I actually am recording. Thanks, Peps, for that. That was the... Uh, the dog doing a lovely choking noise after having a water. Um, yeah, I'm not a, uh, I can't remember what I was saying now. Um, I need to keep an eye on the camera because with the hot weather, it has been overheating and that is stopping recording. Sometimes though, it's just me. I, I literally put it on, think I've paused it, go off and do something, come back, do what I think is turn it back on again to find out that I've recorded the whole time I've been away and not the actual diamond painting. Not great, is it? Um, 
today I do actually need to go food shopping. So I thought if I come on and do this whip and ramble first, I can then um, wait and see if anything turns up post-wise today. I also have a small order from Admiral Zest to come. Nothing special, nothing, you know, not a new tray or anything like that, but just a couple of bits that I wanted. Um, I'm trying to think if I've got anything else on order. I also have three Diamond Art Club um, canvases coming. Um, they should be here on Thursday. So let's get rid of that bit of trash. Um, so looking forward to those coming. So I will have quite a few unboxings to do. Now I will say when I do unboxings, I prefer to do each canvas one at a time because I do like to create a playlist for that canvas. Um, I just think it's quite nice for you to see the unboxing and then the kitting up and then working on it and then the D kit etc all in one place. So that's why I do it that way. Um, yes, it does mean there'll be quite a few videos because I've got quite a few canvases coming um, but it's offset then by the fact that sometimes I don't do unboxings or kitting ups or anything for quite a while so please do uh, please do bear with me um, you will have noticed I've put up a couple of videos on storing extra diamonds etc I do want to add more to my how to series most of you I know have been diamond painting a lot longer than I have to be fair so you may not find them interesting but I want to have that series there for people that are coming that, that are brand new so that they know from the offset um, the things to avoid that type of thing hope that makes sense so that is my 310 done as you know with my Mandy Manzano's I love doing my 310 first um, I just feel like I'm colouring in then and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this first symbol down in this corner and I'm going to work that way so we do have the hourglass symbol which is our 820 fabulous stuff um, trying to think yeah it's just very warm very warm um, so today I will leave the magnets. I've, I've chosen a different glue. I was using Gorilla Glue, um, which is very, very quick to stick. But my, I really struggle getting it out of the um, out of the nozzle. The bottle's quite strong, and I struggle to get it out. And because my hands aren't very strong, um, I was then using the brush. But because I was undoing it, it was um, setting. The, the glue was going hard quite quickly so um, I've changed glue I'm hoping it's going to be okay um, but it does take a bit longer to set which is fine you know the resin pour itself doesn't take too long um, filing the edges etc I'm hoping that's that's it for her barking um, filing the edges etc is something I tend to do when I'm just sat at the table with nothing else to do so that doesn't take too long and then you know 24 hours to get the magnets on and get them set and then I can I can uh, parcel them up and send them out um, so grateful for everybody that's ordered in the last couple of days um, it's so nice to see the cover minders going out because um, I know a lot of you, you know, use cover minders, whether they're just because you like collecting them, whether it's because you actually do use them to hold back your plastic, or whether, like me, you just like something pretty on your canvas. Um, I have also added four pendants on there at the moment, and I will be putting the um, home sign up. Like I said, everything is limited edition because of the products that I put in it. Um, I also have on the way a new resin mould, which I'm hoping will make a brand new type of um, diamond painting accessory that I haven't seen before. So I'm hoping that works. 
I do um, I do always make a prototype of um, a prototype of anything that I make. Um, the same way with the cook pots, um, I actually had the this original. This is my favourite shape um, because it's a nice sturdy pot. There is also a smaller little round one, but I did have a square base one. Um, and for some reason, I've brought two moulds now, for some reason the mould for the lid isn't tight enough to screw on. So I've decided not to make any more of those. We will just stick to the diamond and the round. Diamond shape tends to be more popular, definitely. Um, so I do test out products that I'm going to put down. Um, trying to think if there's anything else I want to say before I continue. I don't think there is. So let's go to some questions because I've got plenty. So let's get started. Um, so Sarah Morris commenting on um, I miss you. Um, I did say that it was actually my husband's birthday and um, she literally just says happy birthday to your husband. Thank you Sarah. I will say that I did read all of the birthday messages out to my husband. He was very, very impressed and and kind of a little bit oh okay thank you but he does say thank you very much um he had a quiet birthday because he was at work um as was i um but he enjoyed what we got him so that's the main thing isn't it so that's all good so thank you sarah for your comment um catherine um, she was commenting on the kitting up of the lips picture, which I still don't know the name of. Um, it's on um, Diamond Art Studio. So if anyone knows what the real name is, I've just called it lips. <laughs> Simple as that. And the reason I picked it was because I have um, the lollipop picture by the same artist from Diamond Art Club. And um, I want both of them to go into my into my cabin when it's done when it's ready because they're great for beauty salons i think perfect pictures for that um so that's why i bought it so she says catherine says i think you did a great job considering what you had to deal with first storage system i bought was tic tac containers and i'd never i've never used them again um thanks for commenting catherine i absolutely agree um one of my first the first storage set i had was the little joined 24 pots 28 pots sorry um which i think a lot of us started with um i very quickly then bought a tic tac set because i it looked nicer um but i just found for me that they're just too small and too fiddly and um yeah i'm just, i'm too clumsy to mess around with something that small really but um, I will give it a good go. I will use that storage for that painting now and I will not do a full review until I've used it. Um, I know how I am about Tic Tac containers, but I think it's only fair that if I'm buying something to try that I actually do try it. So I will. Um, but I agree with you. Not my favourite either. I, it's no secret bottle storage is my favorite storage i absolutely love kitting up into bottle storage um, however i do also like the elizabeth ward system um, i really like them and they make kitting up fun especially for bigger pictures i do like it so i do agree with you she says and um so thank you for commenting sharon wildball Another great video and I'm glad that your channel is growing and I've been there from the start. Happy birthday to your husband. Thank you, Sharon. You have. You have literally been there since day one. Um, I think you were the first subscriber to ever comment on anything. So I am very appreciative. Absolutely. Um, I hope that you enjoyed your little order as well. Um I think it's nice. It's, I can't believe how much it's grown. I don't know whether getting to 400 subscribers in nine months is a good thing or a bad thing. 
you know it may be that i'm sitting here all happy because i've got 400 and other subscribers may have had a thousand by now i don't know but you know what i'm i'm happy i'm happy with how it's growing you know i'm so grateful that you all keep coming back so um it doesn't matter does it really how long it takes you to get there it's it's the little steps that matter so um my husband says thank you also but yeah thank you for being such the support that you have been um please do let me know your thoughts on the new cook pot versus the old cook pot i think you ordered a cook pot um i actually prefer the new ones although the the other ones um obviously showed off any skills i had as a nail tech um they do take a lot longer to make and um i can't do them as price competitive competitively as i can these little ones so i hope that you loved your order and thank you for commenting as always um Gigi's creations commenting on the all for love canvas she said i need to start this one i started the love is love i have that one halfway and see yours almost done it looks so beautiful I can't wait to start mine. And oh my God, I have that same pen. You have the one you put in the link up. This pen. Isn't it great? <laughs> it goes to show that you don't have to spend a lot of money. Now, I did treat myself to a pen from Sapler Bellator. I always struggle saying that, but I try and say it right. So I hope I am. Um, I absolutely love that pen. It cost me £25. Um, I absolutely love it. Um, the only issue I have is it is quite heavy. Um, so I can't use it for long periods of time, but I do I do like using it. Um, but this pen, I mean, under £8, I got all the tips with it. It is the perfect shape. If I'm struggling to hold it here, I move my hand down or I move it up. You know, it's just... I hold it different ways. It's just, it's just lovely. Um, I have also bought a pen from um, Admiral Zest to try because it looks like those ones are the same, the same shape. So I'm hoping that's just as chunky. So I did order myself a new pen from there. So I will unbox that later. Um, but yeah, definitely get started on that canvas because it is lovely and the drills fit together beautifully. They really, really do. So um, I think you'll be very pleased with the finish on that one. I still haven't got it framed, so I need to do that. Um, Elsa J, um, just commenting on um, the info she gave us all on um acrylic and resin drills because you know it was a, an awful lot to go into and she did such a good job she said my pleasure it wasn't easy to write it as short as possible without leaving any important parts out hence the ridiculously long comment and she just put the monkey face covering their eyes don't apologize um the longer the better the comments personally I, I love a long i love a long comment i really do another aspect of why i'm never going to have a youtube channel is simply i'm too shy happy birthday to your hubby oh elsa well thank you on behalf of me and um all the other subscribers as well for the effort you put in um it is very much appreciated and i think we all gained a little bit of an insight into how to tell the difference and i think that's important you know me personally if i'm paying a lot of money for a canvas i i want it to have resin diamonds i can't remember which company it was there was a company that everybody was raving about for ages and um i went and had a look um was it diy moon shop i think and their canvases look beautiful, but they were so expensive. And then I found out that at the time, I'm not saying they still do, but at the time they were acrylic drills. Um, if I'm going to pay £80 for a canvas, I want resin. I want the best there is. I don't want, I don't want cheap. So um, I think it is important to know. Um, as for being shy, that's the beauty of YouTube. 
because you don't see anything other than this or your hands maybe um the picture of myself that i've got in my intro is actually a picture that i took um a couple of years ago for um another video i did i have a I had a YouTube channel for my nails, um, which I haven't been on for quite a long time. I've not had time. I don't have any clients with really long nails to do nice stuff with. So I actually had the picture for that. Um, because it's one of the only decent pictures of me, I'm not very photogenic. <laughs> I just reused it. That is the beauty of YouTube. You're behind the camera. That's what makes it great. Okay, I had to take a break quickly. My daughter came down. Um, I, I know I was going through the questions. Let me just grab my tablet again. Um, but I was just responding to a message on Etsy. So let me get the questions back up. Um, and just before I do, this is another thing that will be coming onto the Etsy store. I love these. I have three of these in different shapes. You can pretty much put anything in resin, but I love the flowers. I love the clearness. So um, I will be making a set of these as well. Again, they might be a bit to ship overseas, but beautiful. Use it as a, uh, a paperweight. Um, so back to the question. Sorry, I got, di I got distracted. So the next um, comment is from Sarah Morris. And it was on the kitting up of the lips. And she literally just said, lol, I so love you. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. Um, I'm glad you're enjoying it. You know, it, even when it's <laughs> when it's a rubbish video, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Um, I do. I do enjoy. Do enjoy it. I do. I enjoy filming and I enjoy having you guys, you know, go through it with me. I like you to be part of it. Um, I'm just going to try and find this line and get these dark blue in. So let me just get those out. It's so hot already. I am literally sweating. And for anyone who lives overseas, I'm going to say it because all British people say it. If you live overseas and you regularly get temperatures above 30 degrees, um, the reason British people say that we're not made for it is we don't have air conditioning in our homes. We're not a country that gets a lot of hot weather. And when we do get hot weather, it is so muggy. And my literally, it is just so humid. And um, we don't cope very well with it. Spring weather, you know, 20, 22, 21, 22 is perfect, I think. That's a lovely temperature. Nice enough to not wear a, a jacket or a cardigan. Nice enough to sit on the grass and meet with your friends. But once you get to like 26 and over, yeah, we're not made for it. So 30 degrees is just ridiculous. I don't know. It's quarter to 12 at the moment. So I don't know what the actual temperature is. But trust me, it's hot. Um okay next comment is from kw hello there um she says love the corgi butts and aries by josephine wall thanks for all the videos um thank you kw um hello to you i don't believe i've seen a comment from you before um i'm so pleased that you found the channel and you're enjoying the videos it's always nice to get good feedback um i did um, as I said, when I did the um, reveal of the next square canvas, I have already added your vote in. So it was included. Um, I love the Corgi Butts. I don't care what the real name is. It, it's Corgi Butts, as far as I'm concerned. Um, and I, I absolutely adore Aries. I do. Um, sadly, it wasn't to be this time. But, you know, stay tuned. Um in the next few weeks, there will be another vote, depending on how long it takes me to get through um, Soulmates. Um, it will take me longer than it is to get through this one. So you probably have a round one first. Um, but I appreciate the feedback. Thank you so much for commenting. Um, Betsy McLeod, 
She also says, I love the corgi butts. <laughs> Your vote was added on. Thank you, Betsy. She also says, happy birthday, Mr. Kitten Up Kitten. So funny story. Um, my husband didn't actually know what my uh, what my YouTube name is. So when I read that comment out, he went, why the hell am I Mr. Kitten Up Kitten? And I'm like, because that's my... Uh, that's my uh, handle on YouTube. He also then clocked on and said, hey, you know, is that why it's KUK, Resin Arts? And I'm like, absolutely. Because at the end of the day, there wouldn't have been the, the cook pot or the cover minders without this channel. It was born off the back of this channel. So, um, yeah, so he said, thank you very much. Mr. Kitten Up Kitten is over the moon to have that as his name, along with all the other nicknames he's got from his work friends. Um, he, uh, he he has quite a few nicknames at work, to be fair. Not all of the ones that he particularly want, but, you know, that's meant for you, isn't it? They're, they're a bit... They're a bit precious like that. Um, so let me just get a five. Um, you will notice I am still using the same pen. I am still using the same double-sided tape. I have not turned it around. I have not refilled it. We're still going. Still going strong. Um, I'm really interested to see actually how much you can get through. Because once it starts to lose its sticky, I will then turn the tape around and it will last for a bit longer. So thank you, Betsy, for your comment. I've given you a love heart, so you know that I've answered it. Tracy Owen, she said, I love the awful love canvas. You really make me laugh when you're kitting up and down. You make my day. Thank you, Tracy. Um, I did reply to her. Um, I did reply to her on, on the comment. I just said, I'm definitely a bit dim sometimes and clumsy lol i shut them in the box <laughs> so um yeah sometimes if someone makes a, a comment and i've got the time i really do just answer on there as well it doesn't mean i won't read the comment out i will because um i like reading the comments and it, i like being able to talk through things while i'm working on my whip so um because then you don't want to know everything about me do you that's not what you're here for. You're here for diamond painting. So if it's funny diamond painting, then all the better. Um, Sharon, again, um, this was also on the All For Love canvas. <laughs> she said, oh, my God, Sam, you had me in stitches. Please don't ever change. Absolutely love you. Have a wonderful evening. I can promise you I will not change, Sharon. I'm not being funny. It's took me 50 years to get to this. It's not going to improve now, is it? <laughs> so I'm not going to change anything. You will always, what you see or what you hear is what you will get. Um, I don't know how to do anything different. Um, I'm, I'm just, this is me, pretty much. Is that the point where I burst into song? Um, there's also a comment added on there from Prue Jones. Hi, Prue. She's literally put... Ditto, absolutely classic. Thank you so much. I love you all too because, um, yeah, this is what makes this so fun. It's, it's knowing that you've got people on the same side as you having the same problems. Um, I'm feeling my pain. It is what it is. I honestly, I can promise you, I haven't yet done a kitten down or a kitten up without making a mistake. Not once. Not once. Not ever. Uh, next comment is from Darcy Foster. And she says, Sam, just to let you know, I have the same trouble when kitten down. I have hardwood floors and can't see the drills. I've stepped on a lot of them and squares and rounds mixed up. Not the first time, won't be the last lol. Nope, it won't. That is the problem with hardwood floors. I think maybe if I was on carpet, I wouldn't notice how many drills I drop quite so much. 
but because it's a hardwood floor, literally, I get up, especially from kitchen up or kitten down, and it is just littered with drills. I, could, I swear I could make a diamond painting out of the, the drills that I drop on the floor. So I'm so pleased that most companies give you extras. Um, but that is why it's more than ever important for me to save any extras because I do drop a lot. And sometimes I don't even drop a lot. Like my trash pot, half of the drills in my tra trash pot aren't actually trash drills. They are literally just the wrong colour in the tray at the time. So they're not actually trash, they are just mixed up ones. I do it all the time. But I'm glad I'm not alone, as with most things. Don't think you're truly ever alone. Um, if there comes a point where I say something and nobody else does it, please flag it. Because I'd be interested to know. That would truly just be me being weird. I've just noticed how bad my thumb looks right now. Um, I uh, took my nails, went to take my nails off the other day and I'd split my nail trying to get, um, it was lifting and basically I pulled it and split my natural nail. So I literally just whacked um, on this hand some hard gel over to strengthen it and just gel polish them. This side is acrylic still. Um, this was the nail I split, um, so it's quite sore. And literally today I pinged all of the gel and the gel polish off. It's disgusting, isn't it? So I do need to do my nails. So I apologise for the state of my nails. Uh, Maria Kassar, she says, Hi Sam, really enjoy watching your videos. Oh, so sorry about the mixture you had. Yeah, me too. She said, done it myself as well, so recently decided to separate my rounds from the square ones. Now I've got two full boxes of squares and two for rounds, and believe me, it's much easier to de-kit. Send in love. Thanks for sharing. Oh, thank you, Maria. Um, I think I've already addressed this before. At the minute, I do not, I literally do not have space to have four boxes. Now, my mum does. She has, and she only has rounds. She doesn't save squares. She gives her squares to me. Um, but I literally don't have anywhere to put four boxes because of all of the, the nail stuff as well. Um, because in this tight little corner, I have got a bench with all my resin stuff in. Uh, like a, a, a cupboard with boxes and that in. I have a um, IKEA storage system with cubes in, most of which is nail stuff, but I also have some of my diamond painting stuff in there as well. Um, the top two boxes on that shelving unit are literally um, my Heaven and Earth design um, cases my kits and um, whatever I'm working on. So I tend to keep my my kitted up stuff is in the in the snug on my dresser. But um, the kits that I'm working on, I actually keep behind me. So at the minute, I, I literally do not have space to have separate boxes. However, once we get sorted, once we finally get this cabin built and everything moves out nail wise, I will then have room. Um, so I probably will do that because it is, especially when, when I'm filming, I'm not always concentrating as well as I should be on what I'm meant to be doing because I'm talking at the same time. So um, mistakes happen. You know, that's what makes it. Um, I do intend fully to um, take those drills and sort them. So what I'm going to do, I'm working this weekend, um, 8 till 2. I'm going to take that bag with me to work and I'm going to sort them out at work. And then that way, you know, because it gets quite quiet on weekends most of the time. That way I can watch videos and separate them and then just stop if people come in or I've got emails or phone calls or whatever. So I will get them sorted. I'll just do it off camera. I know I know, I sorted my ABs on camera, but that was a small bag. I'm not going to do that with the big ones. So it is a very good idea and absolutely I will once I get... Once I get this area sorted out and I get my nail stuff out but at the minute I just don't have the space 
unfortunately. I wish I did. Maybe I should buy a bigger house. If I bought a bigger house. Um, and actually, my plan is to move. So when we get the, the cabin done, my nail stuff will go in the cabin. The resin stuff, my husband's going to build me a counter in um, the garage to do the resin. Because resin is one of them things, it's quite messy, it's quite sticky. So he's going to do that in the garage. And then I've got the option of either continuing to use the sunroom and just making it into a craft room. Or moving into the snug and making the snug into a slash craft slash music room because my husband's got his drum kit in there haven't decided yet but it's going to be a while i'm not that cabin's not going to be ready until next year anyway next summer for the time being it's all in this corner it's literally surrounded by stuff thank you for saying that you enjoy watching the um Watching the videos though. Um, Calb Sparkles, the darling Penny. Hi Penny. Oh dear Sam, we've all mixed up drills before. I'm not laugh laughing honest. Yes you are. Don't, don't lie to me Penny. You're laughing. I know you are. Because I laugh out loud at your videos too. So um, yeah. She has put a laughing face with tears coming out. She said this is why I love watching you. You are so real. Oh, thank you Penny. Um. To be fair, though, I love watching you. Um, I very often, um, usually, because you do a, um, a, a ramble on a weekend, and if I'm at work, it's usually your ramble that I watch first when I'm at work. So it goes both ways, my love. But I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'm, I'm not in a bad mood about it now. <laughs> I'm, sort of, I'm over it. It's done. But, yeah, we've all done it. And as has been said before, I doubt it will be the last time. Um, so I'm not going to cry spilt milk over it. Look, trying to stick a non-existent drill on my canvas. So um, I'm glad you enjoyed it, Penny. It's um, what I'm here for, isn't it? Um, we also have a comment from Melissa Lewis Wiley. Hi, Melissa. She said, hi, I separate my rounds from my squares, separate boxes, because I've done this many times. She's given me a load of crying faces. I know, right? And I will. I promise you all I will once I get some room. It's just not. I daren't even turn the camera around and show you the state of this corner at the minute because obviously I've been um, resin making and uh, putting... Um, magnets on and stuff i've got stuff everywhere um behind me is a bit of a mess as well because i've done nails this week so i daren't show you but it is a very small space to get an awful lot into um the thing i'm looking forward to the most about having a dedicated crafting area eventually is getting a proper desk um I want to get a desk that's got storage built in. Um, I don't want a drafting table. I diamond paint flat. It doesn't, um, you know, if you've got the right height table, the right height desk and the right chair, um, you don't necessarily need a drafting table unless you've got issues with your neck. I don't. So therefore, for me, you know working flat is absolutely fine but i do want a nice desk with some shelves and that built into it so that i can put my spares and stuff nicely so it will happen i will get there and then i will i am actually quite tempted um going back to calb sparkles she's done a fabulous job of of doing her spare storage um I actually quite like the fact that she's got her boxes lengthways, sorry, widthways rather than lengthways because she's got four sections. I'm quite tempted to change it, but not at the minute because I haven't got time. So thank you, Melissa, for your comment and thank you for joining us. Uh, Catherine Blacharski again. We've all mixed our drills up at one time or another. Of course we have. Just this past weekend, I've mixed 3705 and 900 together. And the colour is so close, at least to my eyes, that I can't separate them. Using the app to decide which painting to do next was a great idea. Soulmates is beautiful. Oh, I mean, 
The benefit for the ones that I did is actually the rounds are a creamy colour and the squares are white. So that in itself is a lot easier. So I feel for you because if they're really close in colour, I don't think... I mean, if they're round and square, it's a bit easier, isn't it? You just pick out the round. But if they're close in colour and they're the same, that's worse. You know, if you've got to pick out two different coloured rounds, that's a lot harder than picking out white white squares to white rounds anyway. So, yeah, that would, that would make me cry more. But I've done it before. An actual fact, I did it on a uh, square canvas. And um, literally, because the colour was so close, I didn't bother separating them out. I poured them in my tray because it was easier to see the colour difference side by side and I picked it out. So it slowed down my diamond painting, but it meant that I didn't have a separate job of separating them. So, um, yeah, that might be an option. Um Again, I'm not really using my multi so much today. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because it's Mandy Manzano. Oh, look, I've done it again. Right, so if I'm starting to drop um, drills, we'll keep going a bit longer. If it keeps happening, then I will turn my tape around because it just means that I'm losing my sticky a bit. But I don't know why I'm single placing. You know, I've got a multi -placer. Don't I? Never mind. So thank you very much for commenting again, Catherine. Um, so then it shows me Prue Jones' comment, which is absolutely classic. Elsa J, <laughs> not laughing, I promise. Liar. Your pants are on fire. I know you are. We all make mistakes, so don't be so hard on yourself. I won't. <laughs> to be, to, it is, you know, it's me, just clumsy. So, um, I don't mind you laughing. It's all good. There's nothing better, is there, than... Um, there's nothing better than watching a diamond painting video and just bursting out into random laughter because they've done something and you find it funny. I do it all the time. Uh, Mrs. Coffee, in particular, I do it all the time. Um, yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. For me, what would be worse, I'm not a big fan of, let me pump my stool up, I'm sinking. Um, I'm not a big fan of um, really deep conversation videos. I absolutely, absolutely 100% support making, men talking about mental health, I do. And if I was having a really bad day, I would talk about it on camera, but I would put a trigger warning in the um, in the subject field so that you would know not to watch it if that's something that would trigger you. But I'm not a big fan of watching those videos myself. Um, I absolutely love hearing about people's families and what they're doing in their life. You know, that makes that person real. But... Um, I prefer it to be a little bit more light-hearted. I prefer to have a giggle and to pick up tips along the way. I'm, I'm hoping that's what I deliver. So I'm not too hard on myself, I promise. I'm not. I think it's just when I'm watching back, if I'm editing and I'm watching myself back, I cringe. Because I'm like, why did I say that? Why did I say it that way? Why do I say so, so much? <laughs> I don't know. Um... She also says, P.S. Next time you have a problem with getting a sticker off, try giving the glue some heat with a hairdryer or a heat tool to make it come off easier and in one piece. Oh, that's a fab. I've not heard that one before. Um, I could totally do that because I do have a heat gun, which I bought to... Right, hang on. Let me answer the question. Let me see if I can pick one up. Um, I brought a heat tool to heat up the resin when I pour to get rid of bubbles um, but I don't actually use it I tend to just use a long lighter instead um, so I could use that I am so going to try that next time thank you that's a really good tip Elsa thank you um, 
because I do like to keep that square sticker if I can. A lot of storage, it comes off very easily. Um, I'm not going to use those tweezers. Can't use them because they're blunt. Where's my little, where's my old black ones? Okay, so what have we done? So single placer, we have done one and a half, I would say, um, rows before that has started to lose its stick. Just making sure it's not because we've got a bit of plastic stuck in there. Let me try that. If this keeps on sticking, stop barking, Pepper. No, it's still going. False alarm. Take it back. I'll keep them there just in case. Um, so, yeah, thank you, Elsa. I'll definitely give that a try. So there you go, if you want to know. I'm wondering, actually... If that would work with the stickers on your pots then, if you heat them up, surely they would come off then without leaving any sticky behind. Ooh, there's a thought. Let me know if you do that. Because I'm not being funny. If I can get the stickers off and not have to use Goo Gone, I don't mind heating it up for a bit. That's fine. Very interesting. Thank you for sharing. Uh, Nisa Reed. Right, so what video is this on? Oh, soulmates. Right, so um, I showed um, a picture of soulmates and my, my case and everything when I announced that was the next canvas. Nisa Reed said, wow, Sam, you opened your soulmates kit. And I thought, oh, my God, that's my kit. My kit box is exactly like yours down to the mesh bag and the hula cam strips. Yes. <laughs> Solidarity, Nisa. So that goes to show that we must be watching the same people because... Um, I kitted that up, I think, from watching um, Rebecca Admore Zest and um, who else was I watching? I, that was right at the beginning of me starting. It was, trying to remember now, this is how rubbish my memory is. Um, Alicia Borealis, because Alicia was doing a lot of um, Diamond Art Club. That's one of the first places where I saw Diamond Art Club pictures. Um, and I think Rebecca had said that she saved her who I can paper to reuse. So I did. <laughs> I literally used that as my first lot of cover papers. Um, which goes to show it's one of the first kits that I kitted up. Because um, obviously now I have cover papers that I buy from Admiral Zest. Um, I did buy some from... Um, Amazon as well but I had to cut those ones down and to be fair for the amount that Rebecca charges for the pre-cut ones it you know it's easier just to buy hers oh what a lovely colour this is love this so um, there you go great minds think alike what can I say um, I actually do still I mean I have got um, I am reusing the cover paper of my Heaven and Earth projects as well. I haven't replaced that with cover sheets yet because I've marked the sheets up. You'll see when I do my next video on that, which I'm hoping will be soon. I haven't had a chance to get it out, um, but I'd like to because I'd like to do a bit more on that. Um, but this is why I don't schedule stuff because I'm, I'm, I'm awful. I will schedule something and it won't happen. So I'd rather just not schedule it to start with. And then that way I'm not I'm not telling you lies. <laughs> Simple as that. Um, but I'm pleased that we have the same style. Um, it is a gorgeous canvas, I have to say. And do you know what? I still use mesh bags for my extras in my bottle storage. Um, I reuse my cover papers until they look really tatty. I would probably keep them longer if I didn't film to be honest. Um, I mean, you've seen the state of my um, my laminated sheet. I mean, it's minging. <laughs> but, um, yeah, if... Um, but I can wipe that over. But with this, with the cover papers, I just think because I'm on camera, they need to look neat. Um, next ripper... <laughs> next ripper. Next comment is from Kelly Ripper. Um... She said, you do give me a laugh on your videos. Thank you for linking your pen for me. Love this Mandy Manzano. So this is obviously on this one. Um, you're very welcome, Kelly. I'm glad I gave you a laugh. Um, you also give me a nice happy feeling when I see those four little emojis. 
it makes me smile every single time. So thank you for commenting and liking. And um, I'm glad you like the link for the pen. I hope that you can get it where you are. Um, it is a fab pen. And like I said, I'll tell you what the issue is with my hands. Let me just put these away. So it's not just a thicker... Oh, a shipment is coming today. Oh, that's for a tray. That's fine. I've got a couple of things coming today, um, including, I think, it's either my fan cells or my FG Normal canvas. Um, either way, it's a lot quicker shipping than I expected it to be. I digress. So let's explain what it is with my hands. Right, so I've got arthritis. I've got osteoarthritis um, in these two fingers predominantly and my thumb. Um, I also have fibro, which can cause pain in your ligaments and muscles, etc. But I also have this thing. I don't know if you can see. Let me stand up. Can you see I've got a dimple lump there? Right, so this is a uh, hereditary thing, and it's basically scar tissue that's formed around a tendon in your hand. And you tend to get these as you get older, and what happens is it tightens, and then as you get older, your fingers start to pull in like that. Now, obviously, because I'm a nail tech, I don't want that to happen too soon. Because of diamond painting, I don't want that to happen soon too soon. I would find a way to keep diamond painting. But a lot of this, if you look, is because it's that tendon there. And there is a reason that I've got that on that particular hand. I also have another one just here, which is tiny. Um, I don't know how well you can see, but I've got a scar that runs from here all the way up into there. Um, when I was 10, I was bitten by a dog. Um, it was a Rottweiler. It was one that I saw every day. And on this particular occasion, I put my hand on the gate where this dog lived and it bit me. And it bit through the tendon um, on my hand to my finger, which means I struggle to bend that finger right into my palm. So that scar tissue, Pepper, it's enough. That scar tissue is built around that tendon. Um, I would probably have got it anyway, but what it means with the pen, let me sort the dog out. She's barking at nothing. Just bear with me. Okay. So I'm hoping she's settled down now. So as I was saying, um, with the arthritis, it means that if I use a thin pen, these fingers, because of the way that I hold my pen, they cramp up. Um, and same with my thumb, but also that presses on that lump. And it's not painful, but it's uncomfortable. So having a thicker pen for me is ideal because the thin ones, you know, if you're starting out, the little thin pen you get in your kit is perfectly adequate for what you need. But I don't want that cramping in my hands because that will stop me diamond painting. This is the whole reason that I can, I can knit and I can crochet if I wanted to, but I wouldn't be able to do it for very long because, um, of course, the needles are so thin. Um, crochet, I actually do have crochet hooks, which I have kept. I'm not getting rid of my crochet hooks. My knitting needles I gave to my mum, because she is more of a knitter. Um, but my crochet hooks are ergonomic ones, and they're a bit thicker, but it still hurts my hands. So, hence why I don't do as much of it anymore. So this is why this pen works so well, because of the shape of it, because it's quite stiff. If I'm struggling, I can hold it with those fingers. I can hold it like that with those two. I can come down a bit. It all makes a difference. It just keeps me diamond painting a little bit longer. So I'm glad that you liked the link. I really do hope that you managed to get one where you are and that um, you enjoy using it. I am just picking out these single drills down here to get this bit done. Oh, got, oh I've got two stuck together there. Are they going to come apart? Nope. So that will go in there. No, it won't because I missed. Hang on. The old licky finger trick. Let's get another one. There we go. It's just one. So I'm just going to do these bits because then I can move up up here and get this done 
Um, so there you go. Thank you very much for commenting, as always. Um, okay, let me just find this little symbol because I only need two. So I will do that. Why can't I find it? Uh, it's here somewhere. I know it is. Where are you hiding? Don't you hate it when that happens? There you go. <laughs> Couldn't see it for looking. But if I get the... What a beautiful green this is, though. I think... No, that just... I only wanted two. It's a bit of a faff, wasn't it? What did I say? This is... There you go. Never, ever done a video yet where I didn't drop something, spill something, or put something in the wrong place. It's never going to happen. Um... Should have just poured out a few. It would have been easier. Let me just find this P. Because I only need one of those. My mum, when she only needs one or two, um, literally just pours a couple into the lid of the pot. That seems to work quite well for her. Let me turn that over so I can pick it up. No, just pour it out then. So I just wanted to get those little bits in there. Okay, what have we got next? We've got this red arrow symbol. So let me get these poured in my tray and I'll carry on. Right, so next comment um, is actually added on to a previous comment from Nisa about um, turning the pots. And she said, my bad, I just received mine and realised the pots are square. How did I miss that? So ignore comment about flipping the sides. Um, I actually thought you were talking about the Tic Tac containers. Um, let me fetch it. Let me fetch it. One second. So, Nisa, I actually thought you were on about these because I did have these. Um, let me just bring it up. I did have these, so I had four going across that way. So I thought you meant these ones. So actually, I did flip them, as you can see. And I was able to get more in. So actually it worked. Even if we weren't talking about the same case. Um, I actually, although I don't like the Tic Tac boxes, I do like the way that this is set up. I do like that. So I will take that back. Hence why I said I will work on it. Um, but you are correct. So I'm guessing you bought the Luna box. So um, the Luna box... Let me move that so I don't chuck my drills everywhere. Because I will. You know I will. Um, yeah, you're absolutely right. Yeah, if you move them that way, they are square. They're perfectly square. So, yeah, it wouldn't make any difference. But I can live with how it's set up. You know? Um, I do like it. I do like it. Um I probably will next time. I think I will keep this one, even though you can't physically get them all out. You know, I've got a couple missing. It does hold an awful lot. I mean, there's 49 in there. Um, and next time I will probably cut off this number and just put those on because they'll go flat in the middle and it'll be perfect. So um, actually, out of the two, I still prefer this one. But we'll see when I'm working. Don't know until we try, do we? So thank you for adding your comment on. Um, I'm glad there's at least two of you that I know that have ordered this Luna box now. Um, please do wait until you've used it. Don't make a judgment until you've used it because that makes all the difference in the world. It might be absolutely amazing to use. In which case, for, for 10 quid, 9.99 off Amazon, it's a bloody good buy. Um... So, yeah, don't knock it. It's absolutely fine, but thank you. Um, oh, bless her. Right, so Sarah Morris, I did reply. Um, Sarah said, thank you for your wonderful order. I love my free gift. Thanks again. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for ordering. I know I have commented already. Um, the free, every every order I do will include a free gift. Now, sometimes if somebody, let's say somebody buys a cook pot, the free gift will more than likely be a cover minder. If they buy cover minders, the free gift will more than likely be um, a cook pot, especially if it's someone that I recognise and they haven't ordered cook pot before. Um, none of these things 
are particularly expensive. Um, and like I said, a lot of the times, especially the cover minders like this sort of thing, a lot of time it's because they're too similar to something I've made before or maybe the colours don't quite gel for jewellery. So a lot of times it would be something that I would probably end up not using. So do you know what? If I can stick a couple of magnets on it and someone can enjoy it, then then I'm I'm happy to give it out. So I do intend to always give a free gift to every order. Even if it's just something little, there'll always be a free gift. Because, you know, that's what makes a small business special, isn't it? It's the little extra touches. So you are very welcome. Yeah, we are definitely losing our sticky. I don't have any wax in there. So, uh, sorry, drill. So I am going to use my tweezers. I'm going to pull that out, she says. Open it's in sharp. I'm going to pull that out. And I'm going to push it back in again. I'm going to turn it round and push it back in. Because now we will have another sticky bit. I was just checking. I was just checking that I was still filming. Um, my bloody stool. I need to get a new stool. It's driving me mad. Because it keeps sinking and going down by itself. So now... That pop is back and we can continue a bit longer. So I'm glad that happened. So thank you very much, Sarah, for your comment. And, and you know, I'm glad that you liked it. Uh, pencil surprises, commenting on um, I Miss You. She said, great video as always. Thank you for sharing. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, Tracy Owen. Love the I miss you. Love the miss you canvas. Going to get it when it comes back in stock. Keep up the good work, Sam. Thank you for the videos. Don't change a thing. Always look forward for your next video. They are never boring. Oh, that's lovely, Tracy. Thank you. Um, it is so. It's so nice to get feedback like that. It really is. It makes my day. Um, and it just makes it even more enjoyable for me because I know that you guys are enjoying it. So nothing's going to change, I promise. There is no change. You will occasionally get the bad, a bad swear word here and there. You will always get the cock-ups because that is just me. <laughs> there's, no, there's no rhyme or reason. It's just me. Um, but thank you so much for giving me the comment. Um, Sharon, another great video. Have a wonderful weekend, Sam. Oh, bless you, Sharon. Um, I did have a good weekend, despite the fact that I was working um, and they were 12 hour shifts. But I did get um, some of this done, which was good on the Sunday. And I did get a lot of what I call housekeeping on reception sorted, ready for my lovely new colleague who um, yesterday... This week has started a first full week of solo. Um, it was the best time to do it. So I did get lots done. So thank you very much. Um, I also did restart watching um, The Hobbit. Um, every now and again, I have to pull them films out. I usually read the books once every year or so. Um, and certainly since the films came out, I do watch the films at least twice a year at least because they're my go-to so um i did actually come home from my shifts i had some dinner because my mum had cooked dinner and um i curled up didn't get to diamond paint in the evening but i did curl up with the hobbit and watch that while relaxing on my bed in the heat because it was hot uh hope you had a good weekend too elsa J. <laughs> so this is in response to her commenting on um the tic tac bot kitten up um basically if you haven't seen it elsa just said you know we get it keep your sanity even if that means re-kitting it and i went back and went no i am not re-kitting it i'm bloody well gonna do it regardless of the uh of the storage 
so that I can give a full and honest opinion on it. And she just says, OK, be stubborn then, but I still like you to keep your sanity. <laughs> I did reply to her and I did say I appreciate it. Um, I will. I, I just think it would be unfair. I mean, I've done it with a couple of diamond paintings before. I'm not going to lie. I've either started or I've unboxed a diamond painting and I've gone, no, don't like it. I'm not going to do it. Um, but with storage, I think it needs, if I'm going to take the time to buy it, I need to test it fully for it to be a fair review. There's no point doing reviews if you're just not going to be fair about it. So I am going to use it. Um, because I want to give everything a fair go. Um, but I do appreciate it. And please don't take my my responses as serious or anything. You know, it is the only way I know how to be humorous, to be fair. Um, but I do, I do appreciate that you're looking out for my mental health. <laughs> if mental health is the right word for the way you feel when you've had a shit kitten up. Um, it should be, shouldn't it? I'm looking after my diamond painting mental health <laughs> and I appreciate you looking out for it as well. So thank you. Um, don't stop being you either because uh, I like you just the way you are. Okay. Um, Calb Sparkles. Um, she actually commented, this comment isn't available anymore. Um, I did the unboxing for the spare storage bags. Um, and when I uploaded it, I was quite tired. I don't normally video on days when um, I've done an, a 12 hour shift, but I did because it turned up and I thought I'll do a quick unboxing. And when I went to upload the video, I actually just uploaded my intro, <laughs> not the video. So um, Penny very kindly um, tagged me on it and just said, did you mean to post up a, a 23 second video? And I went back and said, no, nope, it was an error. I'm redoing it. So um, I deleted the video, the original video. And I then did actually upload the correct video. But thank you, Penny, for commenting and pointing it out. So I know now that we're getting up towards the end of the comments, which will be the first time in a couple of videos. Um, uh, Vilica on I Miss You, she said, thank you. Thanks for the lovely video, Sam. It's all so recognisable, like the clumsiness. That is really my second name. My psychiatrist, she put in brackets, I'm not crazy, I'm being treated for PTSS. Is that post-traumatic stress syndrome? I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, my psychiatrist told me that clumsy people are often highly intelligent. Really? Well, I'm taking that. See, it's a sign of my high intelligence. <laughs> I'm sure family members would beg to differ, but um, I'm taking that. Didn't they also say, um, somebody once said that, I um, can't remember who it was, but it was a I think it was Einstein. Um, they said about how messy Einstein's desk was, and they said that actually a messy work area is a sign of a highly intelligent person. Um, I'm taking that one too. That must be it. I must just be highly intelligent. So thanks for sharing that. So um, she says, so he tested me. Well, that was a little comfort to know. So don't be too hard on yourself. I won't. I'm, I'm absolutely sticking to that now. The next time my husband says, what the hell is going on on your desk? Do you really need all of that stuff out all at the same time? I'm going to go, yep, because I'm highly intelligent. Don't knock it. Um, she also says, I love the Mandy Manzano canvas and want to have it, of course. But there are six kits on the way. And this month I already received three. Much love from the Netherlands, Villica. Well, Villica, I'm in the same position. I have got quite a few. Let me grab my coffee sitting here with you know dripping with sweat um i'm exactly the same i've got well, i've got probably 20 canvases i think 13 of those are kitted up ready to go i've got another 13 coming do i need them no did i want them yes that's the difference need over want but definitely if you are a mandy manzano fan please do get this kit and that's the thing with diamond art club isn't it um the problem is these kits once they go 
out they're gone a lot of time i mean they do they do offer um restocks um but i'm one of them people i panic that if i don't get it it won't come back so for me i love this canvas it's just so beautiful um uh, Sharon Wildwall commenting on the um, a, build, a B drill storage with the uh, with the book rings. She just says that's a great idea for your A B drills. Love your nails, Sam. Yeah, the nails aren't looking great today though. I normally I don't normally do gel polish, and I did just whack this over because I couldn't do my acrylics because of that split. You know, you never want to be put in acrylic or anything over a, a broken nail. You shouldn't really put gel over it either. Um, but I am a nail tech. I do know what I'm doing. Um, I love the ABs because they're right above my head. So, you know, already on this one, I'm half tempted to switch out these for the ABs because I think it will be really pretty. So I may do that. And because they're above my head, they're within reach. I can see them clearly putting the label in that bottom corner which isn't something i came up with i saw it suggested by somebody else on um admiral zest video that she did um yeah it's just easy to reach easy to grab what i want and um i don't have as many ab's as i do other spare drills so it will work quite well i wouldn't want all of my spare drills on book rings though that just would not work for me. So I probably wouldn't suggest doing it for that. But I do like it for the ABs, definitely. So thank you. Um, let me just go to the next one. Pencil surprises. Thanks so much. I have them on my wish list, but don't know how to store them. My biggest problem is storage because my living room is also bedroom and craft room. I'm stuck in one room of the house because I can't get upstairs. So um, I did answer this when I did the um, kit, when I was moving them all over into the bags. So I have got a hook. These hooks will hook over a, over a drawer knob um anything i mean when i lived at my old house i actually had a strong pin you know like the board pins with the plastic end on i had one of those in a corner of a wooden shelf and i literally put the pin in the shelf and hung the book ring over that so they are very versatile have a look around yourself you know a lampshade that would hook, that end would hook over a lampshade. I mean, it's not ideal having them over a lampshade, especially if the lamp's on, but I'm just saying, think outside the box. There may be somewhere that you can, that you can clip and hang that onto and have them nearby. Might be an option. If that hasn't helped, I'm sorry, but they are very, very nice. The other thing I think they would be good as because I was thinking about this yesterday. Um, you could actually, these are quite flimsy, but you could actually use these in your spare storage and put your sticker on this bit and flick through them that way. That would work. Um, but anyway, a couple of ideas for you. Um, I'm sorry that you're stuck in one room of the house. Um, I can't imagine how difficult that is. Um, so I'm sure that your hobby is so much more important for you. Um, so just enjoy it and, um, you know, take comfort from the fact that you're surrounded by people that that say, you know, we're sorry. We're sorry you're stuck in one room. Um, and we hope that you enjoy working on your whips and that it brings you some pleasure um because it is a beautiful hobby and do you know what actually it's probably one of the easier hobbies to move out and about so my mum for instance she diamond paints on her bed she has a lap table which I believe you also have pencil surprises I don't know your real name so I'm sorry um I'm sure that I saw you said you had a lap table um but anyway she she 
puts that lap table on on the bed she does her stuff and then she folds the legs down and it goes on the floor underneath a small table that she's got in her room works for her so it's surprising what you can what you can do and how you can adapt this hobby to all situations even if all you have is one room like I said I have got a corner um, I'm lucky enough that I am mobile enough to have a, a table but it isn't a table specifically for diamond painting I also use it for doing nails obviously it, you know it's my business so um, it is very adaptable but I love them thank you for your comment um, Kelp Sparkles, um, we were talking about mixing storage. Someone had said they put Tic Tac boxes in with their Elizabeth Ward, etc. And I just made the comment, I can't, I can't, I can't mix storage. It bothers me. Um, now, you may be thinking, well, hang on, your Tic Tac box has got mixed storage in it. It does. Um, and the reason it doesn't bother me is because I bought it that way. I know that makes no sense at all as to why that would make a difference but it does all right in my head <laughs> it was made that way i'm just going to get rid of this little trash drill it's got a little a little nobble on it um it does make a difference it was made to have those two different things in and therefore it's okay but physically taking two different systems together no i can't do it <laughs> that's how come i ended up with two 120 bottle cases for my heaven and earth project even though those 120 bottles are the little bottles and not the larger ones which i prefer it still meant i could get all of them i could get all of my drills into those two kits i will need to top it up because they're small bottles but i can fit all 239 colors in those cases that's what works <laughs> i'm a weirdo what can i say so cow sparkles penny says i'm exactly the same i can't have mixed storage and all my labels have to be the same yep me too i can't have mixed labels um when i first started my very first um kitting up that i did i literally did have um them labeled 1 to 24 i think it was um and literally the second time i kitted up it changed i went by because i work by symbol so um i kitted up by symbol and they all have to match that is exactly why i don't tend to use empty bottles in my storage and put a new label on it um if i'm going to use my extra bottles i will put them next to the one they are so i don't have to put a different label on because it would annoy me having these beautiful labels and then one round sticker with something handwritten on it no it it will bother me <laughs> i'm weird but i'm glad i'm not the only weird one because if i'm weird then you're weird penny so um yeah I'm, I'm exactly the same there is just something about mixing stuff that i can't do okay that is that section done now, what I'm going to do, because we were talking about, we were talking about ABs. I'm going to pull my round ABs. I know it's round. It's got a round sticker. And I'm going to switch out. I don't know how much of this you can see, but I'm going to switch out these white ones because I just think it looks nicer. So I'm going to get my bag. I'm going to unclip it. I'm going to take that off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this pot and I am going to pour my white ABs into there because it's the last pot in the kit. And um, I'm going to switch the white out for white ABs. We haven't got masses of white, so I'm, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to put all of my white <laughs> ABs into here. And I'm just going to use a pair of tweezers. I'm going to do it now. Because it's something I wanted to do. So I'm going to keep my 5200 label for those ABs. There's no point me writing a different label. I'm going to put that at the end because then I will remember 
I'm going to put this back on. Oh, no, actually, I want that, don't I? Because I need to put the, um, the, the white back on. So let's pull that out. I'm going to take all of these out first. So let me put that lid on. Um, let me get a pair of tweezers. So I'm just going to pick those off. So I'm going to pick them all off first and then I'll put all the ABs in. Like so. And I'm going to do it now. Because the further on I get with the AB, I don't know if there's any, any whites down at the bottom here, but if I do it now and then from now on, that went pinging. <laughs> that'll be, you see, that'll go on the floor. I don't know. I haven't um, hoovered in here for a couple of days, so I've done a resin. So there'll be bits of resin all on the floor that have come off the moulds. Um, then there'll be drills. So I'm just replacing these single ones. That's not even a white AB. I'm just replacing these single ones because they look because they're stars so I'm going to replace all the stars if I've got white in a main bit so like down here I don't even know if they are white I think they're a different color I'm not going to change those it is just these ones um, I've got another canvas as well Mackenzie's treasure hasn't got any ABs in it but it's got these beautiful drops hanging there you go that's another one on the floor that's two this is what i don't get how people use tweezers to place drills it just does not work for me um so yeah mackenzie's treasure has got those so i've got some square white ab's that i am going to put into that one and it's nice when you've got a selection of babies to choose from because you can make little changes. I haven't yet gone down the route of making big changes in colours. I know lots of other people do, especially for skin tones and that sort of thing. I'm not there yet. I'm not, I'm not advanced enough to do that just yet. And because they're rounds, I may be out of shot by this point, so I'm sorry can't be bothered to move the camera just to just to put in me taking out drills um so when i put the ab's in i'll do over here first and then finish on this side so i think we're not too far off um reaching the end of all my comments so um please do post your comments after this video um, because I will read them out. I've got a few comments. I just haven't got masses. Um, so please do comment or offer advice or, you know, just generally say hello. Tell us where you're from. Um, I do. I do enjoy it because it means that, you know, I have something to talk about. It means that it opens up avenues of conversation. And because I do waffle. Um, there is every chance that I will just completely go off on some sort of random tangent because that's what I do. That That is me. So I've got my, my white ABs. So I'm literally, I'm going to use the same pen. I'm hoping it doesn't take the coating off. So I'm just going to grab the edge of the drill. Um, I did have someone the other day sort of say they didn't know why I used a different pen it's purely because if you have very sticky tape or wax or whatever um, you do run the risk of not only pulling that coating off but that coating will then stick into your wax and it then makes your pen less sticky um, but if you've got well used glue in your pen there's no reason you can't in which case Try and grab your drill on the edge rather than fully on the top. And that way it doesn't pull it off quite as much. But I generally just use an older pen. I normally have at least one. So that's them done. See, that looks nice. Let me do this random one. 
So all I'm doing is I'm literally grabbing the drill at the side rather than full on on the top. See, I picked it up so lightly it fell off. And that way you're not pulling, you're not pulling all that glorious AB coating off. And also it means I'm not going to clog my pen up with coating. Last one. Oh, that's better. Love. So, yeah, we've now got some ABs in there. So I think that looks really pretty. I'm going to move my cook pot. I'm going to put my drills back in this pot. So, obviously, I will remember that they're ABs. Um, but the label does actually say 5200. So in summary, that is my section. A little bit of a longer video, I feel. Um, my pen, so I've changed that one around. I have not touched that one yet. Section, and uh, a strip and a half, not section. A strip and a half. And we are still going. So quickly, just came back on to say goodbye properly because my mum came back from town so that is that section done thank you as always for joining me today um any details you may need um will be in the description box at book blah 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 blah, blah. Any details you may need will be in the description box. Um, thank you for joining me today. Um, I will be back very, very soon with another video. It is, as always, over and out from this Kitten Up Kitten. Bye-bye.